Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. In with a chance! And a fierce effort, but not accurate enough. Well, as you said, he went for power, but he's just off target. A bit unlucky, really. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Milan Skriniar in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And hand of the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. won the ball and the starting 11 for Real Madrid Carvajal starts with Fernand Mendy in the fullback positions Federico Valverde plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of midfield and the story in attack is one of a strike partnership and quick thinking defensively talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stewart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever. It's that speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers and nobody can recover. And moving the ball nicely. Real Madrid get the throw in. defensively and did his job up at the touch line for what will be a Real Madrid throw it's not a bad ball but that's a good but straightforward play by the keeper Marco Verratti that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances Rodrigo here's Carvajal still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it well they couldn't keep that sequence going unfortunately the whistle that closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford and as the second half commences both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched and Bellingham well, there was impending danger, but good defending. David Alaba. Camavinga. Vinicius Junior. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Need the 
side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Not high quality defending. Mendy. And we're into the final half hour. Tony Kors. Given away by Verratti. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. Well, Real Madrid are going to make a double substitution. Fabian. Mbappe. the goalkeeper substitution for Real Madrid separated here and it's on to Technique let him down there. Well, that was another example of their poor finishing today. Because some of the build up played by Raoul. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. He's got to miss that guilt edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better than me, though.
moment that was required. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late. And he read it superbly. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. Coming up, and a goal it is, but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. They could really get at the opposition. It might be. Superb stop. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Played over. the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well they have to make the most of this don't they it's a great thing what an achievement for me well they don't need to be reminded about what comes next it's the presentation of the coveted champions league trophy well there's some tired players out there but what you can be sure of they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they save for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here. they have to make the most of it doesn't happen very often does it these will be photos to cherish for years to come brilliant stuff and you are looking